Hello, a very warm welcome from Team Rank Atom, and in this video, we will look into the popular feature called as the Keyword Research. So, without further ado, let's get started. After logging into the Rank Atom, we will see this dashboard, and in today's video, we will be exploring the feature called as the Keyword Research. So, before doing the Keyword Research, we have to go to Settings and first set the custom weak spot domain. So what does weak spot mean? So weak spot in SEO means the gap or the opportunity in the search engine result page so that you can rank higher for a certain keyword or topic. So if you think you want to include youtube.com in the custom weak spot domain, you can do so over here. So what basically it means is if I search for some keyword and if I get Google search result, and it also includes the video from YouTube. It will be considered as the weak spot. If I include YouTube.com in the custom weak spot domain. So if you want to include YouTube.com, you can do so. Next we have to set is the minimum domain authority of the website. So the reason we need a minimum DA by doing keyword research, uh, because domain authority uh, is a measure of how trustworthy and popular a website is. So the higher the DA, the more likely it is to rank well in search engines for relevant keywords. Therefore, when we do keyword research, we want to find keywords that have low competition and high search volume. Which means that uh, the top ranking pages for those keywords have low DA and we have high chances to outrank them. So that's why for this example, we are choosing uh, 20 as the minimum DA. Next, you will have to add your own domain. So for, for this example, I am adding rankatom.com. Next is the social media. So if you switch, switch it on, if you switch off the social media, uh, we won't find the weak spot for the social media domains like uh, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, etc. But if you turn it on, you will get the, you will get the weak spot from the social media domains. Similarly for Quora, Reddit, other forums and files. So files basically includes the doc file like PDF uh, and the other doc other doc type of files. Next is the keyword golden ratio. So keyword golden ratio is the formula as simple as dividing the all in title value of keyword by its monthly search volume. So the idea here is to find the long tail keywords that you can easily rank on Google in almost no time. So here is the example of the uh, keyword golden ratio. So if the keyword golden ratio is less than 0.25, it is considered to be good. And if it is between 0.25 and 1, it can we can have chances to rank or if we might not have chances to rank so it might it will depend on our keyword selection and the strategy and if and if the keyword golden ratio is more than one it will be very difficult to rank so we have so while doing the keyword research we have to select the kgr below 0.25 so that we can have so that we can rank faster on the on that particular weak spot domain so if you turn it on it will consume one credit for one keyword. Now let's do the keyword research. So for this example, I'm putting my said keyword as how to do keyword research and selecting the country as United States, language as English, and then I will click on find keywords. If you have multiple keywords, you can click on import keywords and upload your list. So let's the engine do its work. We'll wait for a few seconds until we get the report. Once the processing is done, uh, you will see this green check mark. So I will click on it. And now let's see what report it has got. So you can see uh, it has given 224 keywords from our seed keyword that is how to do keyword research. Next, we have to analyze uh, these keywords we have got. So there are two ways uh, to analyze the keywords. One thing, one way is to uh, manually analyze the relevant keywords you think uh, or your SEO strategy or the another way is you can 
select all and then click on analyze now so for 224 keywords 448 credit will be consumed so for this example i will uh, be analyzing all the keywords so i will so i will click on analyze now so let's wait for a few seconds until it analyzes analysis has been completed and now you can see the keywords have increased from 224 keywords to 698 keywords because it has also included the PAA keywords so PAA keyword means the people also ask keywords which has been taken from the Google search intent so PAA keywords are yet to analyze because right now we have only analyzed it 224 keywords next if you see uh, these are the keywords which we have got uh, and the following search volume for this keyword and these are the weak spot uh, then we have the low domain authority high domain authority KGR and the relevance so before finding the weak spot we have to set in the ascend descending order so we'll click on the SOP analysis and see how many weak spot we have got for the particular keyword so you can see these are all the weak spot so as you see over here the gray one means the no weak spot so these are the gray spot uh, which means there is no weak spot present the green one indicates it has got the low domain authority so as you can see this one has the low domain authority that is uh, 3 this one has the 17 this one has the 12 the orange one indicates the user generated content website so user generated content website uh, like LinkedIn uh, Facebook etc so as you can see over here the, this link is coming from the linkedin.com next is the custom domain so this purple ones you see uh, it, it is coming from the custom domain that is youtube.com so as we have set a uh, custom domain uh, as youtube.com it is showing over here so if you can create videos uh, around this topic uh, you can have high chances of ranking on the google sub search result page you can filter out this data uh, by various uh, topic as well so if you click on this topic you will get to see the different keywords which are present over here so if i don't want a particular word from the keyword i can do so remove it so if i don't want the research uh, in the keyword it will be removed for time being i am keeping it next next is the uh, next is the intent so you can also filter out by uh, different types of search intent that is informational, navigational, commercial and transactional uh, you can also filter out by minimum and maximum keywords if I only want 5 words in the keyword so it will only show 5 words in the keyword minimum 5 words next if you want to include uh, any keyword if you, if you want to include any word in the keyword section and you want to filter it you can do so from here if you don't want uh, a particular word in the keyword section, you can put your put a word which you don't want and it will exclude it. Similarly, for the search volume, you can also filter out by minimum and maximum search volume. Uh, you can also filter out by the CPC, that is uh, minimum and max uh, CPC. Uh, you can also filter out by the domain authority, relevance, uh, weak spot. Or like if you only want if you minimum you want one weak spot in the top domain you can filter out uh, from here and the others so as we have as we already uh, as I already told people also ask uh, keywords are get done so let's click on people also ask so as you see over here there are so many people also ask keywords yet to analyze uh, so you can go ahead if you find this keywords are relevant for you you can go ahead and click on analyze and uh, do your keyword research for the same on the left hand side you can see the different filters so you can filter out the keywords according to suggestions questions so if you only want the uh, question type of keywords you can filter out by this thing so all you can do is click on select all and you can also export the same but for time being we are not doing it you can also filter out by the comparison so here are the comparison keywords preposition uh, related so those are the related keywords favorite so if you think like this is the uh, favorite keyword you can mark it as favorite and it will be shown under the uh, favorite section 
also you can check the competition that is competitor website which are ranking uh, for the different keywords or the next thing is the clusters so you can create clusters over here so what cluster do is it groups the keyword based on the search results so now we'll go ahead and create clusters so i will click on generate clusters so now uh, let's wait for a few seconds the clusters have been generated so after clustering uh, the main thing is to identify the weak spot uh, that is low competition and high search volume so let's find let's search for the high search volume so let's search for this so this is the high search volume that is 1900 we can find the two weak spot that is for the that is coming from the youtube.com so if you can create videos around the, this particular topic on youtube you can have a higher chances to rank because it is also highly relevant similarly you can do for how to do keyword analysis uh, keyword which has a high search volume you can write it or uh, write user generated content uh, from the social media or the reddit forum uh, similarly you can analyze for the other thing all you need to do is find weak spots so here you can see uh, there is one of the domain coming from youtube.com so you can mix and match uh, around the keyword and uh, create your content and you can rank higher by analyzing these keywords so there is an option or uh, there is an option uh, to export the clusters as well so that you can analyze it properly and get a uh, good insight and do the proper keyword research so that's it for the video uh, if you have any queries regarding the product or the service you can uh, reach out to us at support at the and if you think uh, there are any questions regarding the video you can put it in the comment box and we will be happy to help you out now i'll see you in the next one